Hello, today I'm going to be demonstrating for the first time text entanglement, a simple yet powerful twist on text-based communication. This is something I believe can forever change the way we communicate. I'll also be releasing an open beta version of the world's first chat application with text entanglement capability, completely free with no strings attached. Let's begin. So what is text entanglement? Text entanglement is conceptually derivative of a phenomenon known as quantum entanglement. In quantum entanglement, different bodies can take on connected properties and coexist even when physically separated by large distances. Similarly, text entanglement rejects the historical syntax of text-based communication and blurs the lines between what is sending versus what is receiving to the point where those two things are indistinguishable from one another. Here's the current definition of text entanglement. Communication in which one, transmission and reception occur simultaneously rather than intermittently, and two, where publication is a matter of selection rather than a requirement. Let's explore those two properties starting with simultaneous transmission and reception. First, in order to understand how inefficient existing chat applications are, I want you to imagine that you and I right now are on a video call. But instead of seeing a live feed of my video, imagine that you're getting a sequence of video clips. So I record video, then I send you the video, then you watch the video. I record the video, I send the video, then you watch the video, then you record a video, you send me a video, I watch the video, and so on and so forth. As annoying as that would be to use and as crazy as that probably sounds, that remains the standard in text-based communication. Instant messaging is not really instant. It still follows the same intermittent syntax that originated with snail mail. We write, we record, we send, and we read. Understanding simultaneous transmission and reception is very easy to understand. Just imagine that you're text messaging someone, but instead of seeing user one is typing, you would just see every single keystroke that they make in real time, much in the same way that if we were in the same room talking, you would hear every syllable as soon as it leaves my mouth. You don't have to wait until I'm done speaking a sentence to begin processing that sentence. And probably about now there's some people thinking, oh, but I don't want people to see all of my typos and stuff. And sure, yes, you can toggle off live transmission of text if you want, but before you do that, I hope you'll consider the second property of text entanglement, which is equally important to the first, and that is the property of selective publication. Unlike existing so-called instant messengers, with text entanglement, publication is not a prerequisite for transmission. In addition to your traditional chat log of published messages, there's a dynamic range of messages that appear as unpublished within the real-time feed. That makes it possible to carry an entire conversation in parallel to whatever your primary topic is. This creates a really interesting dialectic environment, which simultaneously encourages freer expression, cleaner record keeping, as well as lowering social risks. And as a new form of communication, there's all sorts of different social implications to consider. As one example, with vocalized conversation, it's generally considered rude to interrupt, but with text entanglement, several people can talk simultaneously without issue. Interruption should actually be encouraged because your inputs can inspire changes in the transmissions of other users before publication events occur. Just like with vocalization, the pausing, the cadence, and the way that you say things can also affect the meaning. The best way I can describe text entanglement is as a multi-channel and communal version of what we currently call thinking out loud. Probably a lot of people still watching this are thinking, I don't want people to see my typos or my edits, or I'm not that fast of a typist. I don't know if I'd be comfortable using this, but keep this in mind. We live in a world where it is almost impossible to distinguish between AI and human generated content. And it is incredibly refreshing to interface with people who aren't afraid to wear their humanity and the flaws that come with that on their sleeve. At some level, showing vulnerability is a basic requirement for building any meaningful relationship. And in addition to the extra efficiency that you get with text entanglement, that's another reason why it's such a great tool for connecting human beings. And while text entanglement is great for anyone, the benefits are even further amplified for those that have learned how to use intelligent input devices, such as Caracorder 1 and Caracorder Lite. 
If you've been following these daily update videos, you've seen some of the precursor technologies that have led to the development of text entanglement. And this is just the beginning. The technology is still very young, but it's at the point where I feel an urgent need that other people should experience it for themselves, which is why I'm sharing it with you today. In order to use it for yourself, go to the URL www.caracorder.io slash chat. Here you can define your username, you can create and join a chat room, and if you want to chat with me, I keep the chat room called CCHQ open at my computer here at Caracorder headquarters at all times. So if you have any questions about text entanglement or Caracorder or anything else, even if you just want to see me type really fast, feel free to jump in the chat room and talk to me anytime. I also want to invite any individual or any company to reach out so we can help you include text entanglement within other chat applications. We believe this technology is too important not to share and that it is an important step in getting the whole world typing at the speed of thought. Until next time, this is day 65 of Care Quarter Updates every day until the whole world can type at the speed of thought. Thank you so much for watching.